Hey YouTube, welcome back to another episode of Pokey Rogue. I'm Nick and with me again is my guest. Hey guys, it's Austin here again. We're here to do another build and battle pre-release kit opening. Right, so yeah, this is actually, um, so we've decided we're gonna do four of these, right? We're gonna do each of these, we're gonna do three of just the single boxes, right? Three and singles. then when it's all said and done, we're gonna put all three of them together, um, you know, of the, of the cards we've pulled, and we're gonna do a 60 card deck. Awesome. So, um, just to kind of recap, how did the last one go? You know, the last one was a great match. It went down to the last single card for each of us. I did, I know, mean, I was victorious. Right, but just barely. Um, <laughs> it was a lot of fun. It was actually really long for a 40 card It was deck. very, very long. I, I really enjoyed the fact that you hit me for weakness with that stone journer mm -hmm. on my uh, Lickitung. Yeah, I was that was awesome because I anticipated that being a you know a path to victory. Yeah, and then you um, out of nowhere you hit me with that Tapu Bulu and definitely um, wiped off my limited energy. So you just took right out of play and I wasn't expecting it. So yeah, awesome. So go ahead and tell us about the kits in case they missed our first video. What we're gonna get in these kits? Yes. Yeah, so just to kind of recap what we said last time, this is going to include like what they call an evolution pack. Um, it's not only evolution cards, but it's going to basically give us a good like structure of cards mm -hmm. um, in case we don't hit what we need to build a good deck. Um, so, with that being said, there's going to be supporters and I think one of three evo like uh, Pokemon lines. So that's really awesome. cool. Not only and in addition to that, it comes with four booster packs, which is probably one of the most right. exciting parts of the video. They so. give us that little bit of flavor to our deck mm -hmm. that your opponent can't expect, or you know, right. just those couple extra level balls that I had for consistency. Or in my <laughs> case, pretty much nothing. Anymore. <laughs> but you know, that's all right. That's that's what's so exciting that's about the fun this. of these. You have to build with what is in the box and nothing else. Right. So um, without further ado, you want to jump into it? Yeah. Let's get started. Cool. Okay. Let's get into this. All right, so I'm really just really hoping that I get better tools this time. But, you know, that's part of the fun, though. I mean, I don't, I don't think I hit anything crazy, but like some useful cards, like those extra level balls, mm -hmm. and uh, cards that you'll actually use. Yeah, yeah. The cards I'll actually use in this. The one time we'll use them, although level balls, I will definitely be using moving forward. So back last time we both got the hound dunes. Okay, I got something. Well, here this is oh. again, but now this is a different artwork. I didn't have this before, but it's the same concept mm -hmm. though. It's still using Spring Bloom, but this is the promo. So I'm curious to see what else is in here. Does it still um, have hound doom, or is this just the engine that they're using for a right, lot of things? The same ones, which is great because so it, it looks it like you like got a, a hound doom again. It seems like a pretty good engine too. Um, so I'm not really too upset by getting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Getting that one again. Yeah. Well, I'm kind of excited to see what's happening in here now that uh, I'm still using this Cherum. Yeah. And now I got the promo. I did like the engine. So there's a Cherum. Still getting those level balls. The Opal. That was a fun card. Got Dan. Okay. Oh. Dan. We're going to play rock, paper, scissors. And you know what? This is one of those few moments where it's like, we're going to use a Dan. Okay. Yours looks different, man. You yeah. got, this is a I different got, Houndoom. Got an entirely different one. Entirely uh, different Houndoom. This is interesting. We can't even predict what's going to happen. So I got, yeah, I got Dan as well, but looks like I'm going to be able to take advantage of the, the bracket strike mechanic. Okay. So yeah, that's different. I'm actually getting three Cherums here. Still getting those Tapu Bulus. Ooh, I got a quick ball this time. Hmm. Yeah, I did not get Cherum, but here's what I got. I got this really good artillery, which if I remember it correctly, just allows you to search out that rapid strike card. Oh, cool. Yeah. A random <clears throat> Bronzor. It's okay. It's an okay. Um, oh, this is interesting. This indeedy, two colorless attack, 10 damage for each card in your hand. There's really no limit to that. And if you're not playing Marty, yeah, when I'm not you know what I mean? Already. This could yeah. this could get real good real fast. So DD I think is gonna make the cut. Anything else interesting? Uh, this Me and Shao, um, it's kind of similar to a card I remember, but basically I just get to shuffle this Pokemon into my deck. So mm -hmm. it's just kind of like a continuous cycle. Um, I don't know how effective it'll be mm -hmm. just because of the low, the low card counts, but it probably will, it might be something I just have to take advantage of here. Something, and then this artillery is really cool. I'm just going to read it out here, though. Um, 
Once during your turn, you may search your deck for a Rapid Strike card, reveal it, and put it into your hand. Then shuffle your deck. You can't use more than one Rapid Strike search ability each turn. So if I had multiple artillery, I could only do one. But that's still really good. That finds the Rapid Strike mm -hmm. energy. Um, this Rapid Strike Karina focus. Um, so I have none of the mechanics going on in mind, but what I do have is this new line of draw, these Zubats, Goldbats, and Crobats. Really interesting evolution line that helps me draw cards. The Goldbat, when I play this Pokemon from my hand to evolve, I draw two cards. And then when I evolve it into Crobat, I draw three more cards. So this is essentially built-in supporters. I got some built-in hops. Yeah. Every time I evolve into a Golbat and then a Crobat, so here's basically two hops. Yep. Yeah. Almost, almost four hops worth of... There's really no reason not to play them. I mean, yeah, and they're colorless attacks. Two, two colorless 100 attack wow. on the Crobat. Now it is, again, a stage two, but this is gonna let me draw and this be a decent and it's going to be a decent attacker so these are these are really solid and look at that you're there's out. my energy acceleration your zubat can get out of danger too with its attack hiding shadows oh wow yeah okay so this is cool i'm excited to open these packs now I'm ready to get into yours yeah and this is kind of weird it's kind of a hodgepodge mix of uh it's it hard to of, figure out where it's going what it, direction it, it, it introduced some of the rapid strike but it still gave me you still have some single strikes. Yeah, They're just setting uh, you up for it. So you didn't have any options. single strike, do you? Oh, you Kendall. have the Hound. Yeah, the Hound Dooms and then the Hound Sojourners Dooms. again. Okay, uh, so you're getting I, some of both. And I feel like I got a lot less supporters than last time. I feel like that okay. as well, but okay, we'll see what we get out of these packs as we jump in here. I really like what I got over here though. Like mm -hmm. this is... So what are you kind of hoping for? Man, I don't know enough about what's in the set. You know what would be really cool? Mm -hmm. If I hit a Flapple V. Oh, yeah. The oh, Flapple oh, V yeah. with the single energy attack that denies their uh, denies their ability. Well, actually, sorry, it makes their attack cost two more. That would yeah. be brutal in mm -hmm. this matchup if I if I happen to hit something yeah, like right. that. Well, what about what about you? What are you hoping for? Ooh, a level ball. Um, just some playables, uh, like we mentioned before. That Slazzle. That'd be a lot of. That'd be really cool to see. Camping kind of year. The moment I'm going grass and colorless, I have no other energy typing. Rapid strike, scroll, and swirls. It's a tool card that gives me an additional attack. Hopefully, I pull some more rapid strike cards too. Hopefully, I'll be able to do so that. You're going with fighting mm -hmm. deck, pretty much. Well, it looks like that. Look, another Slazzle. Oh, man. Yeah. But, um... This first pack for me is pretty bad. I'm giving that more Peko again. Maybe I will. I, you know, I may end up keeping him and keeping some dark again because that was such a. Mm -hmm. It is a cool attack. Another drop up. Yeah, mine was. Mine's not too good. This um, pack was pretty awful though that I just opened. I did get the scrolls, swirls. It's basically kind of like those. Uh, you remember what they were like, where you could attach it and you get to do like the GX attack. What were they called? I don't, I don't remember, but. It's kind of similar to that. They only go to rapid strike. Oh yeah, I know you're talking about, right? They were the something, something Z. Normal. Oh yeah, normal Z. Yes, Z, right. Yeah. Someone will correct us on what exactly they're called, but that's what they were. Yeah. Right? That weird crystal-looking thing. Yeah. That, I tried to throw it in the one. deck one time, but you, Did you? you made quick work of it. So. Those were. It was a fun concept. I wish they were better. Yeah. So I'll go ahead and say I've I've got a hit. You have a hit, awesome. Yeah. Well, I'm excited to see what the hit is. Hopefully right. it takes this deck to the next level. Yeah. Um, Synergy, Dottler, Doublade, Pignite, Sparrow, Elizapede, Shinx, Cacnea, Ponar, Cedra, and... Whoa, Whoa, look at that hit. Nice. Man, Rainbow Rare. Rare, Rapid Strike Mustard. You can play this card only when it's the last card in your hand. Put a rapid strike Pokemon from your discard pile onto your bench and draw back cards. So you weren't playing Pokemon whenever the card like this, but this is a lot similar to a card called Archie's Ace in the hole. Mm -hmm. um, it was a big deal in the worlds back in like 20... I'm just going to make a full 2015, 2016. Yeah. Um, there was like a Blastoise card and it was just a mess. Um, it just reminds me of that. I'm not quite sure if it would make it in my deck, but yeah. cool nonetheless. 
Well, this fan of waves, I know you played this against me in the last match, and mm -hmm. this is going to be useful, especially if you're playing all these rapid strike and single strike energies. So I'm definitely going to want to keep this. Other than that, nothing useful from this pack. This has been a pretty bad pack for me too right now. It's looking like the stuff I pulled in my starting packs is going to be the, the main drive here. Okay. I'm hoping, I don't know, I'm hoping maybe for some evolutions to go with things like this. Marowak is pretty cool if I could get the evolution. Yeah, get see, a I saw bone. That. I have some things that are cool. I've got the cube bone. You got the cube <laughs> <laughs> right. Uh, no trading here. It's not an, an official, uh, you know, this official. I've got two Seedras too, which uh, isn't quite the Kingdra, but right. you know, that kind of a, the one we've been kind of looking into maybe using. So let's see if I can hit something. So I really haven't hit anything other than this fan of waves and another level ball to improve upon what I started with. Yeah, another green code for me. Same thing here, another green code. Right. Not always a bad thing in this format. Actually, the white code could be bad. Really. It could be, because it could be something like the ones I hit last time um, where I just couldn't use them. Energy Recycler, man. This would have been clutch <laughs> in our last our last video. Does that, that go? Into your deck, but still. Into your deck, but we needed cards yeah. from decking out. Imagine just getting all those energy back, and especially with the Cherims. Mm -hmm. Okay, Cacturn. Now, I'd like to play this, but I need to get this. And what, I think I may have had a Cacnea. I'm gonna have to check what I put over here in my cards that aren't very helpful. Did I get a Cacnea? Because if so, I am definitely going to play. I did not. So, I'm just gonna go ahead and say, this, this, in this one pack, I pulled three single strike Pokemon, or three single strike cards, and very powerful ones too, in this little format that we're doing. Um, I think this pack is just gonna define my deck, really. Really? Um, I got this Mawile, and it's all right. Um, you, I think you kind of looked at it last time. It's 100, and it pretty much goes to anything. Um, Another energy recycling. This is gonna be me just blowing through. What I'm thinking now, Based on the Tapu Bulu's just, discarding, mm -hmm. I'm thinking this is going to become like a turbo Tapu Bulu. Cherum's accelerating three energy on, blowing away those energy, getting them back with energy recycler and continuing that pattern. That's what this is starting to look like based on what I have. So really, I need to, wow. I need to be looking at a way to slow you down. Um, try to get some fire in if I can. A, a good viable fire attacker, but... That's kind of hard to do. Right now, I'm not looking. I have this Salazzle. Which could be very useful, right? But, but you need the special conditions right. to make that attack effective. And not only that, I need the sand, the sand wood before. So I'm just, my fingers are crossed right now that I hit this Cacnea mm -hmm. so that I can play this Cacturn because this is the best thing I've pulled that I think could go with my deck. Because oh, I'm going, because look, look at this attack. I'm playing Dark and Grass, right? If he has any dark energy attached to the attack, it does 70 more. So a two attack, two energy cost attack hitting for 130 with Cacturn, and it already blends into what I have. Maybe using Pawnard, but I don't see Pawnard as being better than just going with my Crobats. If I can avoid using another energy typing altogether. Yeah. Okay, I'm on this final pack. Yeah, same. I'm looking over at your side, and I'm feeling a little, a little sloppy, but I'll You've got a lot of stuff happening in yours, though. Mine's very straightforward, but it also makes me feel very vulnerable. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to end it with a green code. I think I did as well. I think I had straight green codes for this box. That's all right. Last time you... you yeah, you last time was pretty much fire, so we'll see. Here's that auxiliary that you have. Galarian Slowbro. Man, I love the art on this card. This is just very nice. Very nice looking card. Man, wish I could play it, but I'm just not getting these evolutions. Another Gold Bat. I wish I had another Zoo Bat. I could have upped those lines. And another Energy Recycler. Oh my wow. gosh. So I, this is defining it, man. This is going to be Turbo Tapu Bulu is what this is looking like. Even my Gold Bats discard energies when I attack. So everything about this deck is going to be discarding energies and uh, swinging. Earn of Vitality. 
Shuffle up the two single strike energy cards you yeah. just compile into your deck. Well, that's not going to help me. I have none of them. Yeah, yeah I'll take that one. Yeah. Um, Man, this is, in terms of getting more Pokemon, that did not happen. We're really hoping for some more, maybe another one of these Cherubis just to prove consistency. But that didn't happen. So I got these three Cherums. Going to definitely keep the Ndidi. Going to keep these Tapu Bulus. Fortunately, no cat turn. Did not hit it. Yeah. Um... Does anything jump out to you at the end that seems like it could go in your deck to improve something? Or No, not not at that last pack. Like I mentioned before, um, it's looking really single strike heavy. But I did, I pulled a Mean Fuel and another Mean Chow, and I already have so many of them, it's, it'd be kind of silly not to use that line. And I actually think I can pull off these cool combos. I would have like a four, I can pull off a four, three. Um, so, but I only have one Rapid Strike energy, which would be kind of hard, but you know what? I'm thinking I'm gonna have to go straight Straight grass. I don't think there's even a point to put this in now. For one card using a dark energy, with everything else being colorless and grass. No, it would just kind of hurt you with that. Yeah, at this point it's looking like I just need to go straight grass. It's going to make it really easy for Cherum, but I got to get these Cherubis out. I don't have the consistency with as many level balls as I had last time. So unfortunately, Morpeko is going to have to take a seat on the bench. It's such a, it's such a conditional card to... Um... I'm really, I'm, oh, you know what? Actually, I totally forgot. This is a rule um, that maybe we should have mentioned. You can, whatever you pull, you can use. I could have 10 mean two if I pull them off. That's true. But um, is it, I thought you still had to stay within the four. No, not in the uh, previous ones. Really? Not I've heard never heard that. that. That seems pretty crazy. Someone let us know, though, if anyone out there is like a professor or something. Right, yeah, just let us know Someone... if, we're, if we're on track. But I, if I remember correctly, I think that's, that's something we can do, but I don't think it's gonna be relevant. At least not for me to go ahead and do that. I do have a lot of these evolution lines, which is pretty interesting. Um, you completed evolution lines. Right. I've got, That's nice, because I just could not complete any evolution lines. But I didn't do it do it like enough of them, I think, to go ahead and try to. And so here's this two I got. I got this jealousant line and this pon ponyard? Pon mm -hmm. ponyard? line um for two water energy this attack does 10 damage for each water energy you just not gonna be really good <laughs> <laughs> gonna be really hard to get those discards in there and then so this this shark right here um if your opponent's active pokemon is a metal this attack does 90 more damage you're not i don't see any metal pokemon up there on your slide before no so so I'm looking at maybe 17 Pokemon in here. Mm -hmm. And 12, uh, 12 trainers, if I keep it like that, that would put me at 29 cards, 11 grass energy if I go that route. Maybe I'll lose one Pokemon here and then stick with 12 grass. I think more grass is not bad Yeah. in this deck. So this is gonna be kind of interesting. Um, I'm, what you see out here, I'm going to only have Rapid Strike and Single Strike. I'm not going to have any Pokemon that's not going to be one or the other in my entire deck. I don't, I'm oh, not, wow. Yeah, and I'm kind of behind on the energy count, so I'm not moving as fast as you are. But it's basically just going to be looking like it's just going to be fighting energy, too. So, maybe a dark. Oh, yeah, I think I'm going to go with the 12 energy. I think that's where I'm going to call it because I'm going so heavy with these energy recyclers mm -hmm. that I don't think I'm going to need more than 12. Although I do get rid of three when I use that Tapu Bulu, but if I'm getting them back in the deck. So I'm going to go ahead and say that I, I'm i pretty confident that's a rule, and I'm going to be playing five of these Neon Foods. <laughs> okay. Um, and so what my strategy is going to be mostly based around, uh, this is kind of an old deck that I remember. But basically, if you do it correctly, you can do this Mianfu and this Mianxiao combo. And as long as you're keeping a Mianfu on your on your bench, mm -hmm. you can take this Mianxiao 
and basically have an next turn if you have it. So it's going to be pretty interesting. The only bummer, though, is that this card goes back into my deck. So it's definitely going to slow me down. Mm -hmm. But uh, that's that's really all that's been presented to me, so I'm just going to have to kind of run with that strategy. Yeah, so I'm just going to run through quick what I'm doing here, so everyone can see, is I'm going to be running these uh, Cherims uh, for energy acceleration, getting as much grass from hand as possible onto my Pokemon. I'm going to be running these Tapu Bulus as my main attacker. I'm going to be accelerating the grass for Nature's Judgment, hitting for that 160 if I discard everything. After discarding everything, I'm definitely going to be recycling it back in with Energy Recycler, playing three copies of that. Indeedy, going to keep this for that two colorless attack, uh, 10 damage for each card in your hand. Since there's really nothing to stop my hand size, I'm going to let that hand increase until this Indeedy becomes clutch late game. Uh, some Drabas in here, flipping coins until um, well, flipping coins until you get tails to do 30 more damage. I mean, hey, it doesn't hurt. And again, our Crobats as additional draw support. Every time I'm evolving, I'm getting that draw, and I'm also getting these double colorless 100 attacks on the Crobats. The Golbats, double colorless uh, 50 attacks. Gotta discard some, but that's okay, because I'll be shuffling back in and keeping with a couple ball search, quick balls, level balls, research, Dan, Opal, Ops. Mine's pretty straightforward. Um, actually, gonna be cutting this. Um, Cutting one hound doom? Yeah. Um, that's pretty straightforward. I'm going to be trying to take advantage of all of these new mechanics, right? The, the hound doom engine that allows you to find that single strike energy. Um, not only that, I'm going to have this 1 1 line of the rapid strike artillery. This is going to be really helpful in searching out these cards right here, like um, by Karina's Focus, you know, which is just a really good, you know, get some more cards in hand. Maybe I could pull off a crazy rapid strike mustard style. Uh, combo and uh, most importantly, it's going to help me find out this one rapid strike energy that I'm going to be playing and the me and Shao combo that I'm going to be going with. Um, the reason I'm going with this is really it's just kind of what the, the what the packs mm -hmm. presented. I'm not too crazy about having to shuffle this guy back in and find him, mm -hmm. but I think it's going to work. Um, without, it sounds like you prevent you from decking out though. You're shuffling this back in, yeah, which so, was a factor in our last. And match. I could be dan And if you can't knock this out, I'm going to be dodging all your damage. Less than 90. Mm. Um, this Malwile is going to kind of come in clutch. It's just going to be a heavy hitter uh, yeah. with all those single Shipper. strikes on there. Um, yeah, with the extra bonus damage from the single strike. So, with the rapid strike it's giving you. Oh, single strike gives yeah. you the extra damage. So, yeah, that sounds great. And, you know, I'm not going to let you see what the text of these are, but I'm going to be using these two tool cards. I got both the rapid and yeah. the single strike. I, I will not look up what this text of those cards does. I will wait for the surprise. Right. And <laughs> I don't. I haven't even read them myself, but I think it's just going to be fun to have in there. Yeah. Without being all said and done between Pokemon and, you know, trainers, I'm going to actually have 33 cards, so I'm going to be putting seven fighting energy in there. Seven fighting energy. Right. Plus your, your special energies that you have. Yeah, of so you so there will be a more than seven, but okay, so you're going kind of thin on that. I'm going with the twelve. Yeah, it's mostly because I'm going to be doing a lot of manual attachment unless I get that Houndoom set up early. Okay, awesome. Well, I'm excited to get started with this. Yeah, me too. I'm really. I can't wait. Let's do it. All right. Okay, are you ready for round two? Yeah, man. Uh, Go ahead and uh, cut your tap for me. Criticizing my shuffling? Yeah. Heads or tails? Heads or tails. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Heads. Good job. Good job. <laughs> Wait, I gotta ask you. Uh, <laughs> Heads or tails? Uh, tails. Heads. I'm gonna go first. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. This thing's already so Oh, geez. Brand this new. is the first time. No basics here. I will mulligan. Bummer. It was that extra shuffling you did. Yep. I'm calling shenanigans. Four prizes. Third tap. Shuffle. <laughs> <laughs> I got a basic now. 
feel like you go ahead and take your mulligan. Ready? Yeah, good luck. Good luck. Okay, I will draw my turn. Uh, grass weakness right here on the stone journer. Yeah, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm really thrilled about it. And, uh, this is not good. I'm gonna go ahead and just, I know I have to do it. So I have to do a professor's research. It's early, I'm getting rid. Mostly of the Hound Doom and the Rapid Strike energies are kind of really mm -hmm. set right with me, but. And then we'll attach that single strike. This will really take an effect of this, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'd do 20 more damage and it can either be fighting mm -hmm. or. Definitely gonna be playing off that grass weakness. Uh, this turn? Yeah, this wasn't my original intention, but seeing how this is set up, I'm gonna go ahead and do um, Spring Bloom twice. Mm, of course you are. Get this instantly set up. And, uh, man. I'm gonna try an Opal. Okay. You know, flip two coins, search uh, my deck for any well, cards based on the number of heads. So if I get two heads, I'll get two cards. I get at least one. There's one. Two. Sweet. That's making you use a die again. <laughs> you don't like that Xerneas coin. <laughs> no. Grabbing two cards. I'm grabbing a Tapu Bulu for sure. It's better than my uh, Zoroark coin. <laughs> yeah. Go for that Tapu Bulu. I'm going to grab a Zubat as well. I just need to get. Get my bench set up. I don't like committing so much with this Cherum, but I got, <laughs> I got to take advantage of this right now. You might as with well. With this grass weakness. Get these both on the bench. I'm going to spring bloom one more time to attach this to Tapu mm -hmm. Bulu. Already start getting some reinforcements ready. And I'll do my seed bomb for 140 knockout. Yeah. See, I, I kind of just had to do it, you know, and assume that since we're playing these what could be bricky pre-built decks, you know. <laughs> Um, kind of just hoping you wouldn't be able to pull <laughs> it off. Wouldn't be able to pull off such a... Yeah. Well, this feels very good to start right now. I'm really liking this for a pre-release deck. This... Yeah, you, yeah, you keep talking about it. <laughs> um, shoot. Well, make me regret it here. You guys <laughs> <laughs> yeah, take not... out this cherub. Pass. Pass, really? Okay. <laughs> Don't act surprised. <laughs> okay, here we go. I'm drawing for turn. I'm gonna get another cherub. Professor's research. Mm, yeah, you seven. just keep moving right through that deck. Yep. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, spring bloom on the tap of Bulu. Mm -hmm. Another one down. Do a Golbat ability when you play this Pokemon from your hand. To evolve one of your Pokemon during your turn, you may draw two cards. I'll grab another two cards off the Golbat. Mm -hmm. Insult, man. 
since the injury. Mm -hmm. And uh, no, that's been saw another spring bloom. Let's get this tapu bulu fully set up on the bench, ready to go. Okay. Now I'm feeling very confident, <clears throat> and I'm gonna go ahead and take that seed bomb knockout. Man, all right. Come on. Well, this could be coming a better time. Shuffle your hand into your deck, or search your, yeah, shuffle your hand into your deck. Then draw four cards. If your Pokemon, or if any of your Pokemon were knocked out during your last, opponent's last turn, draw seven instead. Bruno. That's what you get. Okay. Knocking me out. <laughs> <laughs> well, how many cards did you have in hand already? Three. Three. Okay, so you'll get, you're getting four more cards out of it. Yeah. I sat there and I shuffled my hand like it was a Marnie. <laughs> Or tap. I won't do the shuffle because I'm like a kid myself. I know I can't shuffle it well. Alright, hopefully, uh, we can make some things. Oops. Put this guy down on the bench. This is weird. I came into a lot of the cards I had before. I'll do the single strike war on the sound new. Mm -hmm. Which allows me to search for single strike energy and attach it to one of my single strike Pokemon. And if I do, I have to put two damage counters. On that Pokemon or, oh. or Hound Doom? On the Hound Doom. On that Pokemon. Okay, on, on the Pokemon that takes the energy. Yeah. Gotcha. That's a single, single strike Pokemon. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you're not attaching it to just a rapid strike in the front. No, and uh, oh, you can't okay. even put single strike energy on them. Right, it would just be discarded. Right. And this is cool. I get to look at my deck for the first time. <laughs> um, Alright, I'm just going to play it through. I'm not easily taking a knockout there. On what? On this, I'm not taking a knockout. Yeah, but this guy, you're not going to have to knock this guy out. No. Something's happening. Mm. Yeah, that'll take the 20 damage, which is kind of pointless, but you know. <sighs> relevant for me, I think, right? Because you're very, very 90, relevant, yeah. hitting down to 70 puts him in line for a Cherum. So I'll go ahead and do Spinning Whip. Your opponent's Pokemon is now confused, but I knocked you out for 90. Um, shuffle this Pokemon and all cards attached to it into your deck. Okay. So, oh. that sucked for me losing the three energy that came with that Cherum. That you so easily put on. <laughs> That's true. But you cut it up if you'd like. And I'm just gonna have to do this. Uh, just a little. Yeah. Avoid. I have to clean this up. Uh, go for it here. I uh, will. I'm gonna put Tapu Blue up since that's only a 60. I won't have to discard my energy off of it. Go ahead and draw a card for turn. Start getting something else set up. I'm gonna go for a Evolve into Crobat. Use the ability Drastic Draw. When you play this Pokemon from your hand to evolve one of your Pokemon during your turn, you may draw three cards. So one, two, three. Okay, I like this. Get another tap of Bulu out. I'm gonna go ahead and do Spring Blue three times to get a second Tapu Bulu fully set up. And then, let's go ahead and do an Energy Recycler. Shuffle up to five basic energy from my discard pile into my deck, so we can get those three energy. Mm -hmm. Get them right back in the deck. So, so far this has been working pretty well. Yeah. Half the Bulus are both set up. I can afford to discard energy because I'm putting the energy back in the deck. Yeah, something other than this Tapu Bulu, um, this could be a very powerful engine, especially <laughs> energy recyclers. 
Right, if only it didn't have to go to, it can't go to V or VMAX Pokemon or GX. There's no yeah. rule boxes, right? That's what it tells us. No rule box. I'm gonna do something weird here. I'm gonna go for a Dan. Draw two cards. I'm gonna draw two cards first. Mm -hmm. Then you and your opponent play rock, paper, scissors until someone wins. If you win, draw two more cards. I win. If I win, oh. if I win. Okay. You get nothing but stopping me getting two more. So I'm okay. gonna take my first two. I bet this will get banned. <laughs> I, I don't know if it was banned or not, but let's see, ready? Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Oh, you got it, okay. Cool. So I'll just take my two cards. That was a fun card, though. Yeah, I'm, First time I've ever played Dan. I'm glad we didn't embarrass ourselves and just and fun. You know. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah. Okay, um, let's actually go ahead and do, um, you know what? I will do, I'm gonna go ahead and do a Spring Bloom again. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna throw one on this Crobat just so I'm, you know, getting it started. Okay. And uh, I'm gonna do my Nature's Judgment for just 80. I'm not gonna discard. I'm just mm -hmm. gonna take that knockout. Okay. Feeling very comfortable with where I'm currently at. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I would see why. <laughs> oh man, this is um, this is actually functioning like a like a good deck. Yeah. It has an engine and purpose. So. I mean, I could play Dan, but I'm not. <laughs> I'm gonna play Professor's Research. Okay. And I don't, I don't really know what I'm doing here at this point. Um, my only option is to just continuously paralyze you. I have to get heads, so um, that's that's the plan. And I will catch that there. Okay. What does that do? Um. It can only be attached to single strike Pokemon. It's called Single Strike Cult Scroll of Scorn. And the attack is, for one fighting energy, this attack does 10 more damage for each damage counter on this Pokemon. Okay. So, so you get an extra 20? If I wanted to use that attack. Yeah. Um, oh, okay. I'll evolve into this Mian Shell. Why not? And... It sounds like that paralysis until I deck out is. <laughs> yeah. Um, I don't think any of your other Pokemon can afford to even knock me out. Nope. And so <laughs> I can't. I don't know. Um, and it's a coin flip too, which is a bummer. Or a dice roll. Oh, okay. Um, so for powerful vice, here we go. Heads are paralyzed. Is okay. Yeah, so I'm that's paralyzed. 40, I'm that's forty damage. Upside down, correct? No, that's confused. Oh. It's either left or right. We know what it is. One of these. Yeah. Put it aside. You're paralyzed. Oh, man. Okay, you said 40 damage mm -hmm. because of the extra. Yep. Extra from the scroll. But I can't take you out because you have the. Um, no, the um, strike, single strike energy. Oh, that's what we're getting. Okay, we're yeah. actually not using this attack. Okay. Well, I would draw a card. I mean, I probably should not really. Nope. Play I, anything, I mean, I'm going to, I gotta just ride it out, wait for you to either knock me out or uh, miss your paralysis attack, so I will pass it on to you. Do you stay like, paralyzed, or does it end? It's, it's only for one turn. Oh, yeah, yeah. So you'd have to keep doing it. Yeah, so I'm really just delaying the inevitable here, but whatever. Unless, some, unless you have a high HP Pokemon that can come out that's mm -hmm. a potential 160 attack can't make. Yeah, <laughs> about that. <laughs> I went ahead and attached here to the spinning whip, though. Okay. Um, and you know what? I don't have that in my deck. I'm just going to keep it short and sweet, man. I'm going to pay this retreat cost. It's gonna be, I know I'm committing a poke side here. <laughs> you're going you're gonna to knock out that Tapu Bulu. You're oh, not, yeah. not going to let Tapu Bulu walk away. I'm right. Safe. And so I'm going to do the spinning whip with me and Xiao. For 90. Shuffle into my deck. Put up this Houndoom. You'll get yourself at least another prize. Right, yeah. Be a little bit more honorable of a battle. Don't go away, Hud. Okay. okay, I'm going for turn. And, uh, yeah, I'm not going to rub it in. I'm going to keep it sweet as well. Mm -hmm. And uh, go ahead and use my Nature's Judgment. Discard all my energy. Yep. Hit for that 160 and weakness, 320 damage. That is game. Good game. Good game. Well, thank everyone so much for watching us. That was a shorter match than our last round. The deck worked out pretty well, as I expected it would. Yeah.
I think I just had too, moving part, too many moving parts, but that's all right. <laughs> we'll see what happens in our third match. Please make sure to like, subscribe, and comment on our videos to be entered in the weekly giveaways. Thank you so much.